The San Diego County Sheriff's Department spoke with the public about its use of military equipment. Under a state law, the department is required to report its inventory, the cost, and how those tools are used by deputies. Our Sarah Allegre attended that event and joins us live in Kearney Mesa with the details. Sarah. Yeah, Kathleen, the San Diego County Sheriff's Department gave us a glimpse into their world. They laid out a lot of their military equipment. We saw armored vehicles, bomb squad suits, drones, grenades, and a lot more, really all in hopes to create one better understanding with the community, but also accountability and transparency right here in San Diego. What you're seeing right here, uh, this is a bomb suit right here. The San Diego County Sheriff's Department Monday offering an inside look in their arsenal. This is a really good way for us to search large areas very quickly. It's all part of a larger push for transparency with the community following the release of this 72 page detailed report of the department's military equipment along with the cost, all required by a California state law passed in January of last year. I don't want them to be uh, fearful of any of this equipment. I want them to know that the Sheriff's Department um, researches the equipment. We're always trying to be prepared to respond to any kind of critical incident. The equipment in the report lists four armored vehicles, including this tactical vehicle, otherwise known as a Bearcat. So you'll see this at an active shooter situation. You'll see this anywhere where there may be a threat of gunfire. Ammunition, rifles, grenades also included, along with this bomb squad robot, something paid for by federal grants of up to $431,000. Resources the department says is mainly used by its highly trained SWAT team during a high risk scenario. Here they're going out to investigate an arson call or uh, check out a suspicious package. Residents Monday also weighing in. The question I had is with regard to some of your chemical agents, I know that um, they can uh, sometimes generate a lot of heat. All in hopes for better understanding as to how these resources are being used. I learned tonight that it's really only used by people who are highly trained on it. That's only used in critical situations. Our number one priority is public safety. We want everybody to be safe. Everybody to be safe in the county of San Diego, and that is the name of game with this equipment. Now, this report was approved by the San Diego County Board of Supervisors this month. And again, this isn't used by your standard deputy in a day to day situation, but rather used by a highly trained, specifically trained SWAT team member for a worst case scenario. For now, that's the very latest from Kearney Mesa, Sarah Legray, Fox 5 News.